Good morning, students. How are you all? Hope you are doing great at home. I am Shruti, a English tutor. Today, in this session, we are moving on to lesson two. That is my home, your home. Come on, children. All of you, open your textbook, page number fourteen. Take out your textbook. Open page number one four fourteen. Lesson two, my home, your home. Get started. Fill the missing letters and complete the names of the food items. You may use the clues to complete the names. See, they have given you six pictures there, and they have given you blanks. You have to fill the blanks with the correct spelling. Look at the first picture, children. My name rhymes with Marley. What is that picture, children? Answer the picture carefully. What are those? They are Barley. Come on, all the right now. B A R L E Y. They have given you space here. B A R L E Y. Barley. Look at the second picture. You might like to spread me on a slice of bread. What is that? Very good. We all like to spread butter on bread, isn't it? What is butter spelling, children? B U T T E R butter. They have given two blanks here. Right now. I make things sweet. What is that one thing which makes sweet? All the thing tastes sweet. What is that? Very good. That is sugar. What is sugar spelling? Yes, you. G A R is sugar. They have given you U and G as blank. It's sugar. What is the next one? When you chop me, I can make you cry. Hope you all have seen your mama crying while chopping something. What is that? Onion. Very good. Onion. What is the spelling of onion? O N I. Onion, onion. You make me into a cake. We make cake out of it. We make chapatis. What is that? It's flour. They have given you space here. L and U. What is the spelling of flour? F L O U R. Flour. Next one. Once I was fresh grape. When I dry up, you put me on a cake. Called his 
friend to visit his home. Okay? So, me, the one key who is living in now. Uh, Country, sorry, city also visited Mickey, Misty, and when Mickey visited Misty, they both sat for dinner. When they both were having dinner, Misty, the one who is staying in village side, offered Mickey, the one who had come from city, some barley and cauliflower. Mickey was surprised. What is this? Really? He said. You do not eat well at all. You should see how I live. I have all sorts of fine things to eat every day. You must come and visit me. It is really very nice to live in the city. So Misty is telling his friend Mickey, Oh really? To eat these kind of things? These sort of things every day? Oh, I am so sorry for you. You are not at all living well. You have to see how I live in city. Living city. Living in city or the life in city is very good. Please come and visit me once. I'll show you what kind of food I eat. Who said? Miss Mickey said to Misty. Little Misty did just that. A few weeks later, he went to the city to visit his friend. Mickey took Misty to a cupboard. It was in the kitchen of the house where he lived. They climbed on. The lowest shelf. There, behind some stone jars, stood a big bar of brown sugar. Little Mickey gnawed a big hole in the bag. Then he invited his friend to have some sugar. So what happened? Misty visited Mickey. Misty is one who is living in village. Is it okay? Village. Okay? Mickey is one. Who is it? Living in city. Okay? So, once Mickey visited Misty and Misty offered, what did he offer? Barbie and cauliflower. Did Mickey like it? No, he did not like it at all. So, Mickey told Misty that the lifestyle of Misty is Okay, okay, not so good. But the lifestyle of Mickey is very good. So he invited Misty to visit his house once. The same did the same thing. Misty did the same thing. Misty once visited Mickey and he took Misty to a cupboard and then a small hole where he was living. That is his house in a kitchen cupboard. He has a small hole. He has made a small hole. Inside that, he lives. Who? Mickey lives there. So, Mickey and Misty both went to the lowest shelf and there was a big packet of brown sugar. So, Mickey made a small hole to that brown sugar packet and he offered brown sugar to Misty. The two little mice nibbled and nibbled. Nibbled is nothing but rats will eat no mouse's mice will eat. That is what nibbled. Misty thought it was the most delicious thing he had ever seen. How lucky Mickey is, he thought as he ate. Suddenly, the door, the door opened with a bang. The cook, Mary, wanted to get some flour. So what happened? They both are nibbling sugar. The time when they both are nibbling sugar, there was a big bang thud. When you open the door, thud sound. The same sound was there. Third bang sound was there. And they both got scared. Who was the who entered the kitchen room? That's Mary, the cook. She wanted to get some flour. So she entered into the kitchen room by opening the door with a big Bang. Let us move on to section 2. What is section 2 children? Run! whispered Mickey. They ran as fast as they could. They rushed into the little hole from where they had come in. Poor Misty was shaking all over. However, Mickey said, That's nothing. She'll soon go away. Then we can go back. What did Mickey say? Misty is one. 
fill that space. They went into a big cupboard where there were many shelves. On the shelves were packed of butter, packets of butter and sugar. There were tins of grains and jams. Overhead hung bunches of onions and there were spicy pickles in the jar standing about. It smelled so good that it went into little Misty's head. He ran along the shelf and nibbled at some again there, grain there, and a bit of butter there. Until he saw an especially rich, delicious smelling piece of cheese on a funny little stand in a corner. He was just about to put his teeth into it when Mickey saw him. So what happened? Misty said, okay, let us not go to that shelf again. So Mickey said, oh no, that's nothing. Now I would like to, like to take you to the salad. In salad, you have some delicious food, which you have never seen in, in your life. So Mickey took Misty to the salad. In salad, there were many shelves. Okay? In those shelves, there were bread, jam, butter, grains, and onion, some pickles. Oh, come on, all of you imagine. So delicious. And Mr. Friend, Mr. started picking everything. Sugar was there, rices were there, butter was there, grains were there. He started nibbling everything because it's the first time he's seeing all those things in his lifetime. So he started nibbling everything. Comfort is more better to and we 
getting back to this 